Hitting one with another one. Let's go. And welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to take it back. Oh, school. What you're looking at here is some Black Ops 2 gameplay on the PC using the Plutonium mod for Black Ops 2. If you guys want to get your hands on it, I'll leave a link in the description below. But basically what Plutonium is, it's a mod made by the community for Black Ops 2 on PC. However, you don't have to deal with the hackers. It's basically just the OG Black Ops 2 with all the DLC and whatnot and no hackers. So if you want to enjoy Black Ops 2 how it was back in 2012, you might want to check out Plutonium if you have a PC. Um, pretty much any PC that was probably built within the last six years or so can run this game. It's not very demanding. So if you want to enjoy some good old BO2, go ahead and check out Plutonium mod for it. Now in this gameplay, uh, it's pretty much just gunplay. I didn't get any streaks, unfortunately. Um, but this was probably like my fourth match ever on plutonium bo2 mod so yeah it's pretty much just gunplay some pretty bad aim but i was getting used to it it's, it's pretty weird you can't really fine tune your uh aim sensitivity as well on this mod so yeah now this map we're playing on is studio which is actually a remake of firing range from black ops 1 and i gotta say man i forgot I completely forgot about this map. Look at this map. Look at that T-Rex over there at the right. Like, this is probably Treyarch's most creative map ever. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't never just bring this one back. Like, they brought back Firing Range a million times. And, I mean, if they're going to do that, at least bring back this version of it. At least it's something different. Like, man, I, I really enjoy this map. And it was completely lost to time. I completely forgot about it. But, yeah. This the BO2 plutonium mod, and look at that guy get stuck. I don't know what was going on there, but free kill, I'll take it. But anyways, this is, uh, like I said, the BO2 plutonium mod. If you guys want to know how to get it, I'll leave it down in the description below. Um, but today was one of those days where I just felt like playing some old school Call of Duty. And, you know, if you're going to play some old school Call of Duty, why not play Black Ops 2? which in many people's eyes is the undeniable most golden straight up card of all time. <laughs> but yeah, this was probably one of the best, one of the last best Call of Duties before it started to go downhill. So Black Ops 2 forever in our hearts, but it lives on through the Plutonium mod. So again, if y'all want to check it out, the link will be in the description. <sighs> man but yeah this map it was such a creative map at the time and I don't know why Treyarch can't just seem to make creative maps no more like you know the maps they make nowadays they're catered towards a certain play style you know they they make all their maps with safe spaces to you know appeal to the more casual player the player that isn't as good at the game, you know, with the whole skill-based matchmaking thing. So how they design maps nowadays, it's definitely with the more casual player in mind for those safe spaces and whatnot, but man, it'd be great if Call of Duty 2023, yeah, we're skipping a few years, we're going straight to Treyarch's next Call of Duty game which is going to be in 2023 and apparently it's going to be more like Black Ops 2. The rumor has it that it's going to be near futuristic kind of like Black Ops 2 was, boots on the ground so none of that jetpack mumbo jumbo from like Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare and whatnot but we'll see. Hopefully whatever trial comes out with it's more like Black Ops 2 less like black ops cold war and maybe by then skill based matchmaking will be a thing of the past who am i kidding skill based matchmaking ain't going nowhere man 
Activision makes way too much money off all the little jimmies that's buying all those microtransactions, y'all. So, SBBM or SBMM is here to stay. Man, it ain't going nowhere. But that's why we can go back and play these old school games without the SBMM, you know? So, we'll always have these old Call of Duties to go back and play. They got a Plutonium mod for Modern Warfare 3, World at War. I might put some of that gameplay on the channel in the next coming days. Y'all stay tuned for that. We'll see. World at War was one of those Call of Duty games where I didn't play until probably four years after it came out. I want to say when I played World at War, Black Ops 2 was about to come out or something like that. So, but yeah, World at War was actually, like, even though I played it way late, it was definitely one of my favorite cards of all time just based off the fact that it had the best atmosphere like they ne they completely nailed the atmosphere Treyarch nailed the atmosphere in that game it had that gritty World War 2 feeling um, the maps weren't all colorful like how you see it here in Black Ops 2 I want to say Black Ops 2 was one of the first Call of Duties that kind of started that whole like colorful maps where it was more, it was less brown and gray and just everything was more vibrant everything popped a little bit more as you can see but yeah in world war ii it was just that gritty world war ii feeling you know it had the game of war which you know it, it's ne it came back a couple years ago but it, it's never been as good as what it was in world world at war so yeah the war game mode in world world at war was amazing uh but yeah, World at War, it also had dismemberment, like, and you ain't had to pay for it either. You know, these days, if you want dismemberment, you gotta, you gotta buy the microtransaction with the, the bullets that dismember your enemies. But in World at War, you pulled out a shotgun, the trench gun, oh my god. You shoot at somebody with that gun and some limbs about to fly off. That was the reason I loved World at War. It was like one of the only Call of Duties for several years after it came out that had dismemberment, like... But yeah, shout out World at War. I might get some Plutonium Mod World at War gameplay on the channel in the next couple days. So y'all stay tuned for that. And if you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and give me a like for this good old Black Ops 2 gameplay. If you guys enjoying the gameplay, I really appreciate it. it. Helps me grow the channel. And the weapon I'm using in this gameplay is, of course, the AN-94 probably one of the best assault rifles in this game this thing just slaps shout out AN-94 and Black Ops 2 I remember they brought it back in uh, Black Ops 3 a few years ago and it, it wasn't the same the BO2 AN-94 was something serious and this thing just it slapped it absolutely slapped so you know I had to bring out the AN-94 for this gameplay just to just to relive that, that Black Ops 2 nostalgia. So, we're using the AN-94. We got the C4 sandwiches. Um, a stun grenade, because I ain't know what else to put. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm naming the class this late into the video, but I got a little sidetrack going down a little, little memory lane, a little trip down memory lane. Y'all know how I do. You watch my videos, y'all know. I like telling stories. So, that's the gameplay, y'all. If y'all enjoyed it again, please show your support. Like the video. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. I will greatly appreciate it. And again, it helps me grow the channel. I'm trying to take it to new heights, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Hit it one up.